OK, Lee, as we know, the season's ended and as it ends, everybody's then looking forward to the, the, to the big kick-off and what goes on through the summer. You've already had movements as well. Two have gone out elsewhere for pastures new and one re-signed again. It's interesting times, is it, again? Yeah, it is. And like you say, when the dust settles after the season, um, people have a couple of days switch off and then it's, you're fully focused on what's going on for next season. You know, fixtures, all that type of stuff, planning. Um, and then obviously what everyone really wants to know about is the transfers. Obviously, we're really disappointed to lose Nevin Luke. Um, really excellent players, particularly for, for me and the staff since we've been um, taking the first team. Luke's obviously had a 17-year association with the football club, which is just exceptional. You know, he's at an age now where he feels he just wants to go and see something different. Um, and I can understand the, his reasonings for that. But we tried everything we could um, to, to keep Luke. There was a lot of negotiations with that. Um, and in the end, we had a, an adult conversation and he's, he's chose to, uh, to go to another club. Um, I spoke to him and he goes with, with, with our best wishes, um, apart from a couple of games next year. Likewise, with, with Elliot, he, he's had an outstanding season, hasn't he? Um, scoring 18 goals, um, worked his way into the team from the early stages and, and then just maintained his place. Um, and I've said it a few times, he emphasises what, what I thought my team needs to look like. You know, hard work, he'd never giving up and with some quality in that as well. Um, again, we spoke to Nev and his representatives, there wasn't really much um, dialogue with that and he's chosen to go to Gillingham. Um, so again, because of the person he is, I, I wish him nothing but good luck. Um, but we, tr we tried with both players um, and they've decided to move on. So you're disappointed for 48 hours, disappointed to lose good players, good people, but we've got to focus on um, trying to get bodies into the building, um, which will begin to speed up in the next couple of weeks, I would think. It's pretty slow out there at the minute. When then Longy signed, we're delighted to get Longy to sign. Um, I think people are worried about his injuries, Chris is. We know we've got to get him on the pitch more. He had the third highest involvements in goals for the football club last year, still ticking off 33 appearances. Um, I think you think it's worse than what it is at times because he's such an influ influential player. Um, and you want your influential players and best players on the pitch as often as possible. My job is to come up with a plan with the staff to make sure um, we can keep him on the, on the pitch more often than not. But um, a real good signing for us. Um, again, Chris had interest from other clubs, um, but he's believing in what we're doing um, to try and move forward for next season. For you, I know it's very disappointing and for everybody connected with the football club, the fans and everybody around the football club, that you lost those two players. But as you already pointed out, you did everything and, and, and probably gone beyond the football club's done it in previous years to try and keep those players. So does that give you, you know, a, a good feeling when you're trying to negotiate with other new players coming in now that there's a few quid around? Well, we're going to have the money. I'm not sure there's a few quid knocking around, but we're going to we're going to have the money um, because that money is now available to to bring in players. Look, we tried everything we could. Um, I don't have to say it, but obviously people pay more money than what we do. Um, we offer slightly different things um, that other clubs can't, and, and we've got to lean on that. But we also have to be competitive in a world where. People have got mortgages to pay and we have to try and come up with ways of being more competitive. If, we, if we're not realistic with that as well, then, then we'll fall way short. Um, like likewise, talking to agents, I think we've built up better relationships with agents because without them, I'm afraid that the players will not come to your football club. Um, you'll be waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, so we've we'll built up better relationships with them. Spoke to one this morning, just a general conversation. So we're trying to just build up that. Um, and then we've got a couple of ways of being more realistic with the wages players are demanding. Um, because, like I say, people have got families, mortgages that they need to pay, and that's a factor in it. Your retain list showed that you'd offered contracts to Courtney Baker Richardson and Rio Adabisi as well. What's the latest with those two lads? Um, we've spoken to Courtney's agent. He's just having a little bit of time. I think he's gone away, um, which a lot of players do. Um, he's just going to recharge the batteries, refresh, and, and we'll have a conversation with him next week. Um, so we'll know exactly what Courtney's thinking and where he's at next week. Rio, we've spoke to his agent. He's obviously at that age, isn't he? Um, with the compensation with it. Um, 
his agent has spoke to us really clearly in terms of what 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 he's thinking moving forward. So again, that's just going to be constant dialogue with his agent. Soon as anything comes, we'll let people know exactly where we lie with Rio. I'm hopeful. Um, we can keep him for at least another year. I think that'll put him on another platform to to go and achieve even greater things. Because you know he was out, been outstanding this season, hasn't he? Um, and really good. In fact, since he come back from his injury last year, um, so we'll just have to wait and see um, on them too um, where we're at. We're, we're trying to be in contact with their agents, doing the work our side in terms of trying to come up to, with an early solution because we need an early solution um, because. If players leave, we need to try and get replacements for them in them positions. With the big turnover of players that you're going to have through, through the summer, what's the ide ideal and scenario that you, you'd like to think you can bring in in numbers in terms of permanence and possibly loans? It, it depends on who, who leaves, Graham. If people decide to stay, it alters what you're thinking and, and you might go in the loan market instead of the permanent market. You know, We've got the money to probably bring in four permanents and uh, three. Um, and then we'll be in the loan market um, for that. But we've got to be conscious of what we bring in and who we bring in. Look, we had good momentum in terms of a football club. Um, I know the results tailed off at the back end of the season, um, but good momentum coming into what is now you know, pre-season, if you like. We're in there now and we want to try and continue that. Now it's going to be hard because the majority of the squad look like they, you know, we're losing a lot since January, the turnover of players. We had to rebuild in January. Looks like we're going to have to rebuild a little bit now during the summer. Um, and that's a tough thing because then you've got to try and get the momentum going. But what I can say is we're targeting good players. Um, and good players, I think I said it last year, good players um, have interest from elsewhere. So again, it's coming up with the right deals to... Um, firstly, let the agent know what we're willing to give them and then we can get them in um, and, and talk to them, show them round um, and, and try and give them a view of how we see their future at the football club. Is it a case now of uh, agents being on the phone to you, offering your players and you going with your recruitment staff as well to the targets that you've got, you want as well? Is that how it works? Yeah, it'll always go through the recruitment. I think the recruitment through Josh and Joe has been excellent. It'll always go through the recruitment. Um, you do have agents ringing and I always take the, the calls as best as I can. Um, but then I direct them to Josh um, because we know what type of player um, we're looking for and who we're looking for. So we go down um, that avenue. What I would say compared to last year is the availability in the market is, is less than what it was last year just because of those more players out of contract last year who got contracts. So there's definitely a, a lesser market, which means then more of us are going for the same players, aren't we? Um, so it, it's about being patient. Um, there's a few signing players cherry picking what they really want. Um, so it's about being patient um, to see if some of these players come back around who at the minute have said that they're looking elsewhere or looking for the league above to see if they'll come back around and we're able to speak to them. Is it a case at the moment, obviously, like we said, when we started the interview, it's only two or three weeks since the last ball was kicked. Is it an inflated sort of period at the moment for, for, for players to move in terms of wages and that? And where you will expect as the weeks go on, it'll come down? I'm not sure. Um, you have your you, you have your pinpoint um, players who you want to go and um, speak to immediately. You know the work started during the season, um, so you have them players you immediately want to go and and speak to. A lot of clubs are doing that, and you know, and there's names actually moving. You know, League One players who could have been actually moving to other clubs. Um, so you, there is that pinpoint. Um, it looks like there's going to be some money again um, thrown around um, from from teams in the division. Everyone sees it as an opportunity to get out of the division. Um, I was asked yesterday what the ambitions, and I said the same as the other 20-odd teams in the division, they want to get out of it. Um, so I think we are going to be, have to be patient, um, again, with, with what we've got to spend. We're going to have to be patient um, and hope the players that we're after, um, we're able to get them and speak to them, because I think it, speaking to them is a real plus um, with what we've got to offer them, the facilities, etc.